You're no longer of any use to me. You guys are divorced, so you don't have to come back. What? I don't remember signing any papers. Oh, that's okay. I wrote them for you. That's a crime, Samantha. Don't talk nonsense. If you keep it secret, they wouldn't find out. Well, I don't want to start over with Peter now, so that's fine. Anyway, you're free, so go wherever you want. I am locked out of the house when I was sent shopping, and I don't have my belongings. I can't go anywhere. That's why I gave you a luggage full of your stuff when you came back. That should be enough. I'm so thoughtful. I'll send you the rest of your stuff. Call me when you decide where you're going. Then I'll call you when I decide. Don't throw them away. It's in the way, so you have three days to decide. Otherwise, I'll get rid of it. What? You suddenly and unreasonably kicked me out. I can't decide that easily. Kicked you out? That's not appropriate word. You left, right? Me? Well, it's very common for wives to leave when their husbands cheat on them. A husband cheating on his wife is the wife's responsibility. You also have some problems too, you know. And yet, you don't even show any apology. Only blaming your husband? You have no common sense at all. I feel sorry for Peter. I mean, we've been married for two years, and he's been cheating on me for three years. This is insane. I originally preferred Amy to you as a wife. She's young and pretty. I wonder why he chose you. You most likely threatened him, didn't you? What kind of tricks did you use? Don't talk nonsense. I didn't threaten him. It's no use saying this, but you're too tall and intimidating. I was hoping you'd have a baby soon, since you have a healthy body. But you never got pregnant. I'm very disappointed. Because... I can't do it without Peter's cooperation. Oh? Why? He comes home late every day and goes to bed as soon as he gets home. It's impossible to have a baby. How can you say that? It's because you're not attractive. But thanks to Amy, we have a baby, so it doesn't matter anymore. She's going to have a baby next month. I'm so excited. Fine. After I decide where to move and settle down, I'll file a claim for compensation. Please be prepared. Huh? What are you talking about? Why should we pay compensation? I'm the one who wants to receive it. It was Peter who cheated on me, and I was kicked out of the house for no reason. I have the right to ask, right? Why do I have to pay? It's your fault! You didn't do your best for Peter and you couldn't have a baby. It's all your fault. The new wife is pregnant, so you do the housework here. You're my son's ex-wife. <laughs> oh, are you sure? Of course. When that baby is born, you'll land in hell twice. <laughs> what? I'm Kelly. I married Peter two years ago and moved in with my parents-in-law. Soon after that, my mother-in-law, Samantha, started to bully me. My husband, Peter, hates trouble and pretends he doesn't see anything. He never helps me. The father-in-law was the only one who was kind to me, but he was weak and couldn't control Samantha. Then, I found out that Peter was cheating on me. Peter and Samantha teamed up to get rid of me. I was relieved to be kicked out of the house since staying in that house every day was very stressful for me. Samantha, I gave you my address, but why haven't you sent me any packages? I need to start my life, so I need you to hurry up. You're right. Hey, please send it as soon as possible. Well, I'll forgive you, so come back. What? What do you mean? Your stuff is here, so it's perfect. I'm telling you that you can come back. I 
can come back? Did you hit your head? What are you talking about? I'm telling you to come back and I'll forgive you. You don't have to forgive me. I'm not going back. I don't even want to go back. Don't say that. I'm having a hard time finding someone to clean up. Oh, you all left the concept of cleaning behind somewhere. So you're saying I'm a housekeeper? And what? There's more? My husband fell down the stairs and broke his arm. He's bedridden. He's so big and it's hard to take him to the bathroom. What? He is? I'm worried about him, but... I can't take care of him by myself. You don't need to bother asking me, do you? You have a new wife, Amy. She has a precious air in her belly. She's going to give birth soon. I can't force her to do it. Besides, my husband liked you. I'm sure he'll be glad to have you here. Yes, he was the only one who was like a god in that awful family. Yes, show your appreciation. You'll pay him back, right? You can't waste his kindness. I don't want to be told by you. My husband is crying because he misses you so much. Fine, but I'm not moving in. I'll help him until he can walk again. Don't ever forget that. That's my girl, Kelly. Then I'll leave him to you. Now I can go back to hula dancing. What? You're not going to take care of him? He's your own husband, you know. He has you? I'm not your family, remember? Ugh, whatever. Well, come from today. I had no choice but to go back to her house. I was surprised to see the room after a long time. No one has cleaned anywhere, and it was a mess. Samantha was still pushing me to do all the housework. As you can imagine, I worked like a housekeeper. And while I was taking care of my father-in-law, I was also busy packing my own belongings and sending them to the new house. But actually, in the meantime, I was preparing to take my revenge on Samantha. And after about two weeks, he got better, so I moved back to my own house. What should I do, Kelly? I need your help! Excuse me? I've already finished hearing your request. Don't say that! Amy's baby is born! Oh, that's great. Now you have an heir. Congratulations. About that... Huh? He's white and has double blonde hair and blue eyes. No matter how you look at him, he's not Peter's child. Anyone can tell. Peter is black and he has a white baby? How funny. <laughs> What's happening? I knew this was going to happen. Huh? What do you mean? I did research once because you told me so many times to have a baby. Then, I found out that the reason why I couldn't have a baby was not me, but Peter. That's a lie. I told him already, but he got panicked and didn't believe me. So I guess he conveniently deleted it from his memory. I should have taken him to the hospital at that time. <laughs> then who is the father? There's no way I would know. Ask her. I have nothing to do with it. No, you're his wife. What are you talking about? Huh, Samantha? You're the one who dragged me down from that position. How rude. I'll forgive you, so be his wife again. Sure. Oh, you're so obedient. Wonderful. Then come back now. You thought I would really say that? <laughs> that will never happen. Shut up. Obey the elders. No, I completely refuse. What did you say, you bitch? It got you into this mess because you're cocky like that. Samantha, worry about yourself. What do you mean? Your husband won't come back. What? I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Of course, all of his stuff is gone. What? What do you mean? He asked me for help because he wants to divorce you. 
Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. While I sent my stuff, I found a room for him and he moved in. <laughs> That's not... No, I noticed the house was really clean. You don't notice it if it's dirty? <laughs> I also filed for divorce. Be thankful that I saved your time. What? I didn't sign the papers. You wrote them? I'll sue you. You have the right to say that? You're the one forging private documents. Shut up! I can report it to the police, you know. Then you'll be accused. Don't call a cop. It's up to you. But this time, it was signed by you. That's absolutely not true. I lost my words when I heard that you used all the retirement money to play games without telling your husband. <laughs> That's... He told me that he made you sign the papers at that time. Ugh. You finally transformed into a monster. Shut up! This is a message from him. To Samantha, who has done something stupid again. I'll never see you again. Goodbye. Don't ever reach me again. Oh no! Hey! I can't call my husband! How could you? He wants you to talk to a lawyer from now on. No! I don't want to get divorced! I didn't mean it! I would like to ask you the same. Please talk to a lawyer. You have a claim for compensation and property division. <laughs> Don't be selfish! No compensation, no property division! Then I'll call the police. Okay, I'll figure it out. But without my husband, I have no money. If Peter pays the compensation, he won't have any money too. Please, can you persuade my husband? And Kelly, marry Peter again. I would never do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so harsh on you. Let's have a good relationship from now on. I need you as his wife. Please get along with Amy, not me. <laughs> I can't. She cheated on him and she can't do any housework. Then she's just like you. You all will get along. That's great. I can't live like this. I don't want to live in a garbage. Kelly, do something, please. After that, since Samantha has already turned in the birth certificate, the white baby has become the heir. They are now living in a dirty house where no one does housework, cursing each other. The day when that house will be swallowed up into the black hole will not be far off. They deserve it. <laughs> My ex-father-in-law, who used to be physically weak, suddenly got better after escaping from Samantha. I sometimes go shopping with him, and we still have a good relationship. Now that I am free, I have resumed my job, and I'm enjoying my life. Hey, you thief! What? How could you steal someone's husband? I'll never forgive you! Huh? What are you talking about? You're the one who should be guilty. I'm different from you. When you say husband, you mean Daniel? The man you stole from me, right? I didn't steal. He loved me. Huh? Besides, you guys weren't married. But we are married. The fact you stole a man doesn't change. It doesn't matter if we were married or not. It does! Don't be silly! Give me back my husband! I really have no idea. Stop making weird accusations. Stop lying to me! I know you've been in touch with him. You can't hide it from me. Uh, he sends me messages, but I don't respond to them. If you look at his phone, you'll see what I mean. There's no way he would cheat on me like that! You're the one flirting with him! I can tell! You married him after cheating on me, right? How can you say that he wouldn't cheat on you? After all, he'll repeat the same thing over and over again. The reason you were cheated on is because you weren't attractive enough. 
but I have all three qualities. Sexiness, cuteness, and beauty. Not only him, but no one would cheat on me. Don't make fun of me. Well, then do as you like. Don't contact Daniel ever again. Do you understand? Will do, even if you don't tell me. Hey, you never learn, do you? Excuse me? I told you not to contact him, but you did. Give me a break. No, I didn't. I'm not lying. I don't want to talk to him. I saw your name on his phone. Can you explain it? I have no idea. Isn't he the one who's sending messages? I blocked him after you told me, so I don't know. Maybe that's true about the message. But that's not the only way to get in touch with him. What? You're using another app to reach him anyway, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> You're so persistent. I'm not interested in him, and I have a boyfriend. Does it matter if you have a boyfriend or not? It doesn't matter whether you have a boyfriend or not when you steal someone's husband. Huh? What if you have a boyfriend? Do you have any proof that you're not playing with other guys? That's too suspicious. You know, normally you won't play with other guys. You seem to be in a hurry, but it's not like he dumped you, right? That's... Hmm? You're right. I was dumped. He told me he wants to get divorced. It's your fault. How can you make it up? So you think I'm the one who's having an affair with him? It's okay. I'll give him. So just make sure you pay the compensation. Then I'll forgive you. <laughs> Whether you forgive me or not, the reason why he wants to divorce you is not necessarily because of an affair. Even if it's cheating, I have nothing to do with it. Can you leave me alone? He sent you texts. Of course you have something to do with this. Pay me the compensation. $10,000. Huh? Don't make me laugh. I'm not obligated to pay it. What? You've got to be kidding. You should be sorry. I don't understand. I have nothing to be sorry for. If you don't want to pay me, then I have a plan. Whatever. You'll see. Did you see the garden I decorated for you? Isn't it nice? Did you throw raw eggs in my yard? I told you that I had a plan. I did it for you. What a despicable thing to do. This isn't just my house. My family lives here. My grandmother loves that garden. You can't do that. It's not something a proper adult would do. If you want me to stop, why don't you just pay me the compensation? Are you poor? <laughs> I'm sure I don't have any money to pay you. It's the money I don't need to pay and I don't want to waste money. Fine. You want more? Sure thing. What are you going to do this time? You're not thinking of something weird again, are you? I don't know. Spend your time with the thrill of what's going to happen. <laughs> It's thrilling and fun, isn't it? <laughs> I'll call the police if you keep talking like that. I think it's useless because the police can't be involved in civil affairs. <laughs> Even so, it's a crime if you go too far. No matter how much you harass me, I'll never pay you. You stole my husband. Why don't you admit it? Because there is no crime to admit. I mean, if you're so suspicious of Daniel's cheating, shouldn't you be looking for that woman? I'm an outsider. I don't care about him anymore. I just want the compensation too. So why don't you ask the real cheater for that fee? Get on track. It's too much trouble to find out. I just want to be paid. <laughs> huh? Melody, you're not hurt by the fact that he cheated on you? But you're completely after the money, right? It's none of your business. It doesn't matter to you. Then don't contact me. Can I go now? I don't want to spend my time doing this. Don't text me. Huh? 
Wait a minute. I still have things to tell you. Hey! After this, I ignored all of Melody's messages. I had nothing to say to such a crazy person. Then, a few days later, she came to my house and yelled at me directly. I immediately called the police and had her taken away because she was causing trouble to my neighbors and my family. I thought that if the police got involved, she would stop. But since then, I have received malicious letters in my mailbox and various harassments. I couldn't take it anymore, so I decided to find a way to defeat her and brought into action. Hey, don't ignore me forever! Pay the compensation, you thief! I was going to ask you for $10,000, but you're late, so I'll have you pay me $20,000. Think of it as delayed interest. You really love money. Speechless. Huh? What? I just thought you are small-minded. You're like a child. What's with that attitude? If you have time to talk like that, just pay it. You're the one who has to pay. I know everything. <laughs> what do you mean? You haven't broken up with Daniel, but you're already having an affair with another guy. You're also cheating on him. Huh? And that guy is quite rich. You're dating for money again. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> How do you know all that? I just happened to see when you were walking with a guy holding hands, so I did a little research. You didn't notice it at all, right? <laughs> if I tell this to Daniel, he'll probably charge you the compensation. Don't do anything unnecessary. You're disgusting. And besides, he tried to fancy you, so that's cheating, right? The only thing he said through text was that he wanted to break up with you so I don't think you can count it as cheating. That's not fair! You're the one who's not fair. I don't know what to say. <laughs> also, that guy has a wife, so I'm sure you may be charged by her too. I think you should be prepared. Huh? You're such a vicious bitch! But I don't care if they charge me. Oh, really? Why? Because my boyfriend is crazy about me and has lots of money, so I'll have him pay for me. He listens to everything I say. Too bad. I'll file a claim for slander. Which part was slander? I really don't understand you. Hey, please! Sarah, help me! Answer me! What is it? I'm in trouble! James betrayed me. James? Oh, your boyfriend? Later on, Daniel and James' wife charged me compensation. I bet. I knew that would happen. <laughs> I asked James to pay them, but he refused. Oh, I thought he'd listen to anything you say. Um, he said he was just flirting with me and his wife is important after all. That guy can't be helped. Don't say that. Help me somehow. Why should I? I don't understand. Because you exposed his wife and Daniel about me, and this is what happened. I did unblock Daniel and told him everything, but I didn't do anything with that wife. I mean, I don't know her. How can I reach her? Then how did she find out? Don't ask me. I have nothing to do with it. Anyway, now that it's been found out, you'll have to pay the compensation. I approached him for money, and I don't want my money to be taken away from me. I don't want to pay. That's what happens when you have a dirty mind like that. It's your own fault. Then at least try to convince Daniel. I don't care how you do it. If you explain that it was a misunderstanding, I'm sure he'll understand. You're his ex-girlfriend, so it's okay, right? I can't. You'd better learn by now. And don't ever get involved with me again. I'll block you. Please, wait! I don't want to lose my money or my man!
I immediately blocked Melody's number. I don't want to get involved in something I don't even know. After that, I lived peacefully for a few weeks. But one day, I received a call from Daniel saying that Melody had run away and would not pay him the compensation. This time, Melody got into trouble unilaterally, but I haven't forgiven Daniel. So I told him it was none of my business and blocked him again. What are these people? I heard that she had ran away, so I thought she had gone to some distant town. But the other day, I found a miserable Melody peeking under a vending machine. She had turned into a completely different person. I was lucky to be able to take revenge unexpectedly. Hi, Mom. I just got home from school. I had a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, what time is it? Were you playing with your friends? Welcome home. It was a club day. I did my best to cook. I made hamburgers. It was so much fun. You made hamburgers? That's great. I wonder if you can make some for me when I get out of the hospital. I'll make it for you. I'll make it for you. When can you get out of the hospital? After the baby's born, maybe in a few weeks? I see. That's sad. I wish we were closer to the hospital so I could go see you and my baby sister. I can't wait to see you. Sorry. I miss you too, Anna. Hang in there a little longer. I'll be home soon with your baby sister. Mommy can't wait to see you too. Daddy and Grandma won't take me to the hospital. They seem to be busy and aren't home much. I try my best to cook and eat by myself every day. I also clean up everything by myself. Is that so? Every day? Well, Dad has to work, but I don't think Grandma goes out that much. She's out with friends today too. She said she's staying over. She and Dad were talking about the beach, but she won't tell me where they're going. What? I didn't hear anything about that either. I asked her to take care of you when I'm away. Then what's for dinner tonight? Did you prepare it or did Grandma? Dad gave me some money, so I went to the convenience store and bought something. Huh. I'm sorry, Anna. I'll make you a delicious dinner when I get out of the hospital. Go buy something before it gets dark. I'll ask Dad if he can come home early. Just have a little patience, okay? Okay. Hello, Mary. I can't reach Kevin. Do you know where he is? Could you tell him to call me when he comes back? What a troublesome request. I don't deserve to be called Mary as your mother-in-law in the first place. You're not my family. You know that, don't you? You're not related to me by blood. Uh, yes, that's right. I'm sorry. I'll be careful, but Anna is my beloved, beautiful daughter, and she's your adorable grandchild, right? Beautiful. Hey, I don't know. And about Kevin? He's been busy with work lately, so he'll be home late. Actually, I started having contractions a little while ago, and it looks like our baby is going to be born in the morning. I'm sorry, but I'd like you to call him so he can be there. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but hey, hey, that's a hassle. Why don't you just ask Anna, my lovely granddaughter? Ha ha ha. Of course, that's impossible, isn't it? Anna is still in elementary school and it's already late at night. I'm sorry, but I'm about to go to bed. If I wait for Kevin, I won't be able to sleep. Actually, why don't you tell Kevin after the baby's born? How about that? It's a good idea, even for me. Kevin is busy too. It's Kevin's child too, right? I'm sure he is looking forward to it. Please do inform him. You're such an overreacting person. It's not the first time you've given birth, so you should be fine on your own. Anyway, I don't have much free time either. I need to rest when I can. Can't you show more care to the elderly? You can take care of yourself. You're not a child. Okay, I understand. I'll try to contact Kevin again later. Of course. You should take care of things yourself from the beginning. Don't make the mistake of asking for help from the wrong person. Well, I hope Kevin will reply, LOL. What do you mean? Do you know why I can't get in touch with him? I don't know. So why don't you try your best to get in touch with Kevin? I have to pay for the procedure after the birth and the hospital fees. I wanted him to come. It's a lot of work for me to do it alone after the birth. Why don't you ask your own parents? Yes, you should. 
That's what family is for, hmm? My parents live far away from home, so it's not possible to ask them all of a sudden. Besides, I don't want them to worry. I understand now. I'll take care of it myself. I won't depend on you anymore. Yes, yes, please do that. You really are a stupid woman. You're so annoying. Kevin must be stressed out from living with you. LOL. I feel sorry for my son. I really do. You said you want to live with us. If you don't want to, we don't have to have you live with us. Huh? What? I can't hear you very well. You're really not nice, are you? You're not very considerate. The food you cook is bad. The cleaning is lousy. And I get stressed out no matter what you do. I see. I didn't know that I had put you through such a hard time. I think we should talk about our future plans when I get out of the hospital. That's a good idea. Well, don't depend on me. You just think about what you should do, all right? Anna, where are you now? I wanted to hear your voice, Anna. How are you? Are you with your grandma and dad? What do you want? Eh? What's wrong, Anna? It's your mom, dear. No, it's not. You're not my mom anymore. What do you mean? What's wrong? I just came home from the hospital and the house is empty. It's like a new house. I'm so surprised. What's going on? Dad and Grandma moved out, but they left me. Moved? I haven't heard anything. Where are you? It's not that surprising. It's nothing to do with you because you're not my family anymore. Oh, a message. Dad said to sign the divorce papers on the front porch. What does that mean? What's the matter with you? Can you put your dad or grandma on the phone for me? There should be some kind of mistake. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm in an orphanage. Orphanage? Why are you in an orphanage? What do you mean? You're a good actor, Mom. You said you wanted to put me in an orphanage. That's what Grandma said. You said I'm in the way. I wouldn't say that. Don't believe her. You are more important to me than my own life. I'll come and get you right away. So, can you tell me which facility? What? Are you sure? Mom, do you really want me to come back? Yes, I'm sure. You're my darling daughter. I would never do such a thing. I miss you so much right now. I was so sad. My grandma and dad were making you out to be the bad guy. He said he is divorcing you, but you wanted to put me in an orphanage because I am in the way. Don't worry. I won't say that, and I won't do it. I swear to God, I promise. I believe you. Please come get me soon. I miss you. I'm sorry I made you feel sad. I'll come get you soon. It's called Sunflower Orphanage. Please be quick, okay? Of course. I will be there as soon as possible. Do you know where your dad and grandma are? I don't know. Apartments? I think that's what they said. Also, dad said he's getting married to a new bride. An apartment? Apartment? Marriage? He said it's because they're going to have a new baby. Do you think he was talking about your sister that I gave birth to? Probably not. Dad and Grandma were talking about a boy. I understand. I'm sorry, Anna. I'll pick you up tomorrow. Have you filled out the divorce papers? Please fill them out as soon as possible. You are a slow learner, for God's sake. Call me when you sign them. There will be something about the division of property. Please wait. Shouldn't we talk about this first? Talking is just going to take time. Please agree to the divorce as soon as possible. Don't you want to see Anna as soon as possible? Anna is right next to me. What kind of nerve do you have to leave her in an orphanage? I'm getting a divorce even if he didn't ask me to. I can't stand you guys anymore. I don't even want to live with you. I will get child support and alimony. You're kidding, aren't you? What kind of alimony? It's the alimony for Kevin's infidelity. I heard he's going to have a boy. Who did you hear that from? Anna told me everything. It's so awful to involve an elementary school child. She talked about you like you were the bad guy, but then she immediately turned to you. She's your daughter after all. She's really a little bit of a bitch. Don't worry. I'll take full responsibility for raising Anna. I'm divorcing Kevin. He wasn't there for the birth. He's having an affair. And he left Anna in an orphanage. He really is the worst. Now, 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 now. Calm down. Adultery is not the word. It's about changing wives. Switching to a better one. What's wrong? 
His new wife is having a boy. And unlike you who can only give birth to a girl, she's way much better. She's young and beautiful. And yes, she will go out shopping with me. I'm glad you like her, but I will get alimony whether he has a child or a new wife. You are really black-hearted, aren't you? You always talk about money. I'll pay it even if you don't tell me. As soon as I get my share of the property. What are you talking about? You won't get it. It's your joint property, so he will get half of it. It seems like you were making a lot of money, so it should be easy enough to pay alimony. Ha 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 ha. Which one of us is the black-hearted one? You were planning something cunning like that, weren't you? What are you laughing at? I'm filing on the grounds of divorce for child abandonment, so Kevin's share is zero. What? Are you kidding? Don't try to fool around with an elderly. It's the truth. Besides, he's also been having an affair, so he'll be charged alimony too, LOL. You and your son are both idiots. I thought you were a little more calculating. Kevin said it would be profitable. Too bad. You are an idiot. If the other party is pregnant, I can easily find out about the affair, and I've already consulted a lawyer. My name is Katie, and I've just consulted with you on the phone. I would like to file a claim for alimony for my husband's infidelity. But can I also file a claim against the adulterous partner? Yes, you can claim alimony from both your husband and the adulterous partner. Usually, it would be about $3 million if you are divorcing. Good. In the divorce, will half of the money go to the husband since it is joint property? In this case... Since your husband has left the child in the care of an orphanage without your consent, it falls under the category of abandonment. If you make abandonment of the child the grounds for divorce, the husband's share will be zero, even if it is communal property. I see. Thank you very much. Also, since the adulterous partner is apparently pregnant, is that sufficient evidence of adultery? Yes, it is. If she is pregnant, we can easily find out about the affair. Also... The text message with your husband's mother is also sufficient evidence, so there is no need for you to worry. In this case, the fees for the affair, the abandonment of the child, and the fact that the other party is also pregnant are expected to be higher than the usual price I mentioned earlier. I understand. Thank you very much for your cooperation. I'm sorry, Katie. Let's talk about it. It will take time to discuss this properly. Let's reconsider, shall we? I thought you and Kevin would be a good match for each other. I'll persuade Kevin to break up with his adulterous partner. I don't care about that. You don't have to do anything. I was thinly aware of it, but I didn't realize he was really having an affair. I had a little hope that he might change his mind after the birth of our second daughter, but recently, Kevin has been cold to me and to Anna, and it's been hard. I'm already fed up with him. I will give him a good scolding. Please, reconsider. Besides, you can't make a decision to divorce so soon, can you? It was you who told me to sign the divorce papers as soon as possible. Thank you for pushing me. You're the one who rushed me into this. I wonder if you are losing your mind already. Yes, I think I might have been a little hasty. I was planning this. I just felt sorry for you. You'll have to forgive me. I don't want to hear such lies. I'm sorry, Katie. I'm really sorry. We'll both apologize properly. Please, reconsider. I'm sorry. I can't do that. The divorce papers have just been filed, so it's too late. Since you admitted the fact of adultery. What? You already filed it? Wait a minute. Didn't you just get out of the hospital? Yes, I did. My second daughter is at the government office being seen by my parents. Because you wanted us to divorce, at the end of the day, I'm a witty wife. LOL. That's true. I can't believe you didn't talk to Kevin even once. Don't you both have any affection for each other? I can't have a discussion with someone who depends on his mother and can't be reached. I don't have love for him. Not anymore anyway. Kevin wanted to get a divorce too, I'm sure. The divorce papers were filed immediately because all the necessary sections were filled in. 
Even if he did, it is terrible of you to submit it without permission. If Kevin's signature was already on the form, it was fine. You said you would contact me when you signed it. Then why didn't you just leave it unsigned? You were right. You were just trying to be considerate. I'm glad we're both idiots. It was all your idea anyway. You said you would just leave the divorce papers while I was in the hospital, move to a new house, and leave Anna at an orphanage because you didn't want her in the new family. That wasn't my intention. How can you say that after harassing me to the point of being obvious? I know your character well enough to understand it. You've been cold to me since the beginning of our marriage. I understand. You can hate me now, so why don't you talk it over with Kevin? That's not needed. There's nothing I want to talk to Kevin about. I don't have time to talk to him either. Everything will be communicated through a lawyer. You have to decide the name of your second daughter with Kevin, don't you? That's impossible for a lawyer, isn't it? I don't want a cheater to think about it. He is already a stranger anyway. I have no more remorse or anything for Kevin. Actually, Katie, I thought I'd make a fortune from the division of property, so I'm moving to a condo. I have a favor to ask you, though. Is that okay? What is it? Don't tell me you're brazenly asking me to pay for it. I'm not going to go that far, but I'd like you to take a little bit into consideration for the division of property. Kinda... I used all my savings for the down payment of this condo. Wow, that's tough. Kevin never put any money into our house, saying something about a retirement fund. But that's none of my business. I can give you some advice. You have to sell it and move to a cheaper place. I can't sell it! Kevin and his new wife chose this place. I see. LOL. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I have nothing to do with it. Please talk to Kevin and his new wife about it. Well, it seems that we are on the same page. I'm sure the lawyer will talk to you soon, so please don't bother me anymore. I'm sorry. I will correct what I did wrong, so please reconsider. After that, I requested alimony money from Kevin through my lawyer. I also claimed alimony from the adulterous partner, and it seems that Kevin did not tell her that he was married, so the adulterous partner is also claiming alimony. I firmly received alimony, child support, and property division, and I cut off my ties with both Kevin and my mother-in-law. I have told Anna that she may see her father, but she does not seem to have the slightest intention of seeing him. The other day, I heard about the other party's situation through a lawyer, and it says that they cannot pay the mortgage on the apartment and are living in a shabby one-room apartment, but that is irrelevant. I have returned to work after maternity leave and have resumed working hard. Raising two children is a challenge, but I'm leading a fulfilled life with a lot of happiness with the help of my own parents. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time!